I love travel, just to, to, for the chance to get a different experience, to see different places, as much as I can see with my vision impairment. I find that I've done a lot of travel by myself, and that requires a lot of organisation. Um, I make sure the travel agent knows that I can't see, so she lets the airlines know that I don't see very well, which makes it easier for getting on the plane, and when I do silly things, they understand why. The best experiences I've had was when I went on a um, Caribbean cruise um, around when I was over in the States and that was really awesome because um, once you moved into the, um, once you got on the boat and got your cabin, you unpacked once and then the boat took you everywhere from there on and I just let the, made sure again the, the cruise company was aware that I couldn't see and they were nice enough to any um, newsletters or anything like that they put under your door they were actually increase the font and made put it on A3 sheet so it was readable to my vision. Disadvantages sometimes when you travel is that finding bathrooms and toilets, you've got lovely little signs. I find that when traveling I would like nice big signs and contrast so you can find the things that you look at, you know, so you can find the bathroom. There's nothing worse than wandering around hunting. I always take pictures of my um, suitcases so if they go missing and I say what does your suitcase look like I just show them the picture um, and I've found for me if I using a I don't have to use a cane all the time but when I'm traveling I find having the, the blind cane it makes it really easy for people to respond um, and they know immediately that you can't see they don't sometimes they don't know how much you can and, and it looks a bit silly when you actually walk around them when you're carrying the cane but I have enough vision to see around around things but I can miss things as well. I'm finding that with new technology that's around such as I um, own an iPhone and a lot of places now um, have apps so you can do a bit of study of the, um, the site that you're going to before you get there. So I have to use my cane to stop the to stop the bus and I've found that um, if you're at night it's I don't always like having my cane out I feel a bit vulnerable because um, it's saying hey I can't see you but you can see me um, but when I do have the cane out it means that the bus drivers are lovely and, and make sure that I can get um, that the bus is at the right height the big thing for me when it was getting around is footpaths um, City Council seem to spend a lot of money on transport and road but they seem to save money when it comes to footpaths and cracked and, and not um, and lumpy footpaths can make it really difficult just to walk around makes it not only difficult for me but wheelchairs or elderly um, and you know a fall when you're on holiday is not a fun experience like in the old Christchurch when we had the Crown Plaza you had the um, they had a from the Crown Plaza into Victoria Square they had this really neat atrium type area where you had um, two steps and, a, and flat and three steps and flat and that was very difficult because although it looked great um, you could never find the handrails moved from um, one minute they'll be on the left and next minute they'll be in the middle so when you when you went down the steps you actually had to go looking for the handrail things can look really pretty but sometimes they're not accessible and it's really important just to think about who's going to be there that if you make things more accessible for everybody it'll just be easier